Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2022 Salem Hemisphere 308 RLS travel trailer. This is a triple slide out rear living room trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, then we'll close it all up and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now up inside the new Salem Hemisphere 308 RLS. We're going to start here in the living room kitchen area, and then we will spin our way around the RV here. So first things up, you have a freestanding table, two traditional chairs that do have storage, and then they have a bench now, which also has storage in it as well. Large picture windows overlooking the campsite area. And all four of those windows in that slide do actually open. Deep tent safety glass windows. Over here you have theater seating. It does have LED light on the bottom and around the cup holder. There, each seat is individually turned on by tapping the cup holder. I left one on and one off just to kind of get you an idea what it looks like. They do have a little bit of storage in the middle and two more cup holders in the middle as well. On around to the back section here, you have little tables and storage on each side of the rear sofa. Sofa will flip out, make into a bed. It is a trifold style bed. You have electric outlets and USB chargers on each side. Some overhead cabinet space. Have pull down roller shades on these windows too. Directly across from your theater seat area here, nice electric fireplace by Greystone here. And basically that's just a cool fancy electric space heater. Um, you do have the Jensen stereo system up above with a couple speakers. And then they're currently using a Sansui flat screen TV on a swing arm mount. Looking down at the kitchen area here, you do have a pull-out drawer below the actual oven. Currently using the Furion oven with a three-burner stovetop, glass front, LED lit knobs, and LED uh, light inside the oven there. And then you also have the glass stovetop cover, which kind of acts as a backsplash when it's up. You have the matching Furion hood range with light and fan built in. Also the matching Furion microwave over there as well. Electric outlet, USB charger ports over there on that side. Some drawers and storage down below. Little island kitchen area here for your sink. Decent amount of counter space. Single bowl undermount sink. It does have the sprayer faucet on it. Just kind of looking back up at the ceiling here, you can see LED light strips above both slides there for some accent lighting. Ducted ACs running down the center of the RV. You had a skylight up there. There's also LED accent lighting around the toe kick area of the island. Heat duct coming out there as well. Twelve volt ever chill refrigerator, basically ten point seven cubic foot. Some storage area over here for a little pantry area. Now, over here, this does actually have a motion light in it as well. Uh, but you got quite a bit of space up there. Electric outlet, USB charger, pre-wire over there for the King Connect system. If you wanted to add that in aftermarket, you can. And they are currently using the Coleman air conditioners. Air conditioner furnace control here on the wall. Down below is your electric box with your breakers and fuses. Control panel here for some lights and slides. We'll get to that at the end. In here you have a porcelain foot flush toilet. A little bit of storage area there below your sink. Step in shower. Does have a little seat area. Sliding glass enclosure, skylight up above, vent fan up above, 
and quite a bit of room for towels and linens and stuff there too. Going on up the hallway here, we enter your master bedroom. You have quite a bit of space in here. Electric outlet, USB charger ports on the wall there. Window on each side of the bed and those windows do open. The bed also raises up, so there's some storage underneath of there too. But look at all this floor space here. Plenty of room to be able to maneuver around your bedroom area. Little dresser area there. Big window again overlooking that campsite area. Area up here to mount a nice TV. This one was ordered with the optional second air conditioner also. So you got another Coleman AC up here. Now up front you have a large closet. Now this closet is also set up for a washer dryer system if you wanted to. So you have your hot and cold water, your drain lines, electric outlet there to do a washer on this side if you wanted to. And that boxed out section down there, that's outside storage. But over on the other side, there is another electric outlet there and you could put you a dryer on this side. So if you want to do a separate washer dryer combo, or I'm sorry, separate washer dryer, or you could do a combo, whichever you would prefer if you wanted to do something like that. And you have big sliding doors to go across. But overall, a pretty cool, very popular couples coach. Sliding door for your bedroom privacy. Now we're going to run outside. I want to show you around the outside of the RV as well. Then we're going to come back in and close it up. I want to show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the new 2022 Salem Hemisphere 308RL model here. We're going to start here on the door side, kind of spin our way back around, and then we'll go back inside and close it up. So first things up, you have a little bit different color, graphic, and pattern than last year's version. Uh, lower tan metal and kind of a ivory color fiberglass. You have a decent size pass-through storage compartment on the front here. There's a light in here. You can also see some of that aluminum tube framing there. There's a light switch in there which works the front cap lights. You'll see when we get back around to the front. Slam lock baggage door handles there. And they are held up by magnetic holders. Two power awnings with LED light strip. Adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff and they both have manual crank overrides if needed. Down below you have power stabilizer jacks on the front and on the rear of the coach. Enclosed underbelly as well. Deep tent safety glass windows. Couple outdoor speakers here little pet friendly leash latch hook right there the heavier duty more ride step above step it's rated for 500 pounds where a traditional hover style step is only rated for 300 you have adjustable feet to kind of help you depending on how level your campsite's at and then the step just flips up inside the doorway when you're done traditional rv entry door and screen door large folding entry handle Back here on the side of the slide, you do have a place where you could mount a TV if you wanted to. So you got electric outlet out here, cable outlet out here, and that cable outlet is tied to the TV antenna. Uh, but you could mount you a TV right here if you wanted to, so you could watch the game outside. On around to the back side here, you have power stabilizer jacks again on the rear. You have a ladder to get you up and down off the back. Traditional 4-inch squared tube bumper in case you want to mount something like the spare tire on the back or maybe a possible small bike rack. Uh, put your dump hose in there. A lot of people like to store their dump hose in the rear bumper as well. 
Just in front of those power rear jacks on this side is a LP quick connect. So you could plug in a outside grill if you wanted to aftermarket. The unit is pre-set up for rear observation camera by Furion if you wanted to add that aftermarket. And then next to the ladder down there in between the spare and the ladder, you have your cable satellite inlets. Detachable power cord here. It's about 25 or 30 feet long, roughly. This one was ordered with two AC, so it does require the 50 amp electric service. So a little bit heavier duty cord when you do that. Also, this unit was ordered with slide out awning covers. So if you wanted to do slide awning covers, that's actually an aftermarket item that this customer put on. Um, it's pre-prepped from the factory for them. The slide toppers are an aftermarket add-on. If that interests you, talk with your sales guy about that. But those slide awning covers cover the top of that room. They kind of shade it from the sun, leaves, twigs, debris, help repel a lot of rain and stuff. So it's pretty nice to have if those interest you. If TV antenna up here, you also have your stove exhaust out right there. In between the slides here, we have our furnace exhaust out. We have our six gallon gas electric water heater. Down below, we have our gray and black tank dump. And then up this direction, we also have another gray tank and washer dryer drain tank as well. And up in the front section is also the freshwater tank drain under the slide section up there. Then you have your city water, black tank flush, and freshwater fill all right here next to the water heater. And you have an outside hot and cold utility shower too. A little bit of storage in this area. This is under the bed. Now, just in front of the storage door here, uh, there are some stickers, very important stickers. We're gonna pop these up for you. The first one is your main data sticker, telling you your production date, has the VIN number on it, axle sizes, but most importantly, it has the gross vehicle weight sticker. And that is basically telling you the most you can load it up to, hitch weight, axle weight, everything combined, do not exceed that number. Next sticker is your unloaded vehicle weight. That is what the unit weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. That's what they calculated at. And it also has the length on it now as well. Next up is your cargo carrying capacity sticker. Just pay, uh, basically telling you how much gear you can load into the RV. After that one is also the tire sticker. Basically telling you your tire size, but most importantly, it is telling you your proper tire pressure. Tires can only hold a certain amount of weight at a certain pressure. In here is your battery disconnect and also pre-wire down there for solar panel. So if you wanted to add a solar panel aftermarket, you can do so. Stepping back here, looking at the front, you have a nice three-quarter heavy-duty fiberglass front cap, two big LED light strips in the front. You have power tongue jack with an LED light on as well. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug, two 20 pound propane tanks with the hard cover, and room for one or two batteries in the back. It only comes with one battery when you order it from Couches RV Nation, zero from the manufacturer. Um, if you wanted to add a second battery, talk with your sales guy about that, and they could do something for you on that as well. And then on the lower portion, you have a kind of a black diamond plate metal. All right, guys, we are going to head back inside. I want to close it up, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside of the unit. All right, guys, we are now back inside the new 2022 Salem Hemisphere 308 RLS here. And I just want to show you what it looks like closed. So when you are ready to open and close the RV, you do have to come in here to your main control panel. We'll run over this real quick too. So right here, we have two awning controls to run your awnings in and out. 
We have three slide controls for each individual slide out. You have some light switches, 12 volt tank heaters for the holding tanks for winter, water heater on gas button. That electric button again is outside on the uh, lower corner of the water heater. Water pump, fresh water tank, black, gray, and battery conditions all right here. So this is your main panel. Now to actually bring the slides in, all you gotta do is push the button to bring it in. So we have one slide on the left was the first button I hit here. Bump that back out for just a second. We're gonna bring in the kitchen slide first. Kinda comes in at a hair of an angle when it first comes in. And these are 12 volt electric motored slides. So they come right on in off of battery power basically. So it comes straight in here. And you can kind of see what this looks like when it is closed up. It comes in really, really close to your island kitchen area here. So let's say that slide malfunctioned. Hopefully it never does. But if it did, you can somewhat still use the camper wouldn't obviously be able to get to your cabinet down there a little bit or your oven area uh, but you could still somewhat use the RV if that were to ever happen again hopefully it never happens but just so you know what it looks like closed here next slide we're gonna hit is bring in the big slide here now this one is a flush floor slide so it does come in at a little bit more of an angle than the other slide did Don't forget guys to check out the guys at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country guys and will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Heard that clicky noise? That is basically telling you the slides all the way in or all the way out. But now again, you can kind of see what this looks like. When it's closed, you are not getting back past this area right here. Kind of see what it looks like up there. You can see that LED light strip up there too. So now obviously if this slide malfunctioned, that would be a real pain because that blocks off the back half of your camper. So luckily there is a manual override for that as well. We're going to bump this one back out. Just show you what it looks like going back out here. Now, if you are running your slides out and you needed to run over and check and make sure there's not a electric pole or water pole or tree or whatever in the way, you can let off the button somewhere in the middle and go check. So it's not going to hurt anything if you do that. But obviously, if it is raining outside, you don't want to leave it half in, half out for too long because it could leak easier. Um, so you do want to make sure it is all the way out or all the way in if it's raining. So it goes out nice and easy. And let's see if we can stretch up here to the bedroom area and show you this one. So this one comes in. It kind of tilts in just a little bit. And I forgot you are supposed to close this closet door. So make sure... You close that so your slide doesn't push it and damage it like it almost did right there so close it on up this basically is going to come in and kind of get right next to that dresser area there So a real tight fit there. But kind of stepping back here so you can see, if you are traveling, you stop at a rest area or something like that, you can come in your doorway, use your bathroom. You could come into your bedroom if you wanted to, lie down, take a nap, if you needed to take a rest. Obviously, if you needed to load it for refrigerator type of stuff or pantry type of stuff, you would, again, have to open the back slide all right guys thank you a bunch for taking the time to watch my videos i hope this really helps 
if you would, again, check out those guys at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the best discount dealers in the country, guys. We'll save you a ton of money on a new RV.